I should be happy being on the road, should I? This is what I worked towards to for several years. In 2020, I created the idea to do science communication for environmental topics from on the road. I wanted to drive through various geographical regions slowly, seeing how they change, explore them and show this to the world. And in my head now is nothing, emptiness. After weeks of saying goodbye to everyone, I'm overwhelmed by simple things. So in the last 10 days, I've been just driving, finding camp spots, analyzing if I feel safe and driving by cities like Quebec, Montreal and Ottawa without even feeling like I'm missing out on something. I've experienced tiredness before in this project and pushed myself beyond a healthy point that worked for my endless to-do list with a car, but now that I'm actually about to start the creative process of the journey, I can't. How lucky am I that someone is about to help me with this? <laughs> Brooke and I know each other from our studio in Vienna during the pandemic. She's a painter and creates stunning artworks where nature inspires her. In this, we're similar, even though our media is so different. Moreover, Brooke managed to create a great community on her social media channels and we decided to co-create a video for each of our channels. She'll talk about reference pictures she makes in nature and how landscapes inspire her. And I... I couldn't feel further away from being creative now. I want to fix myself, make myself being excited about that adventure, spark with creativity and show everyone what I see and give something back. But every time I start, it feels off. Just waiting for Brooke and we're about to start to go to a cottage for a little canoe trip. And I'm really looking forward to that because I have been spending a lot of time on my own and uh, I tried to start to work and also to be creative, but I had some starting issues with that as well. So I'm really looking forward to, yeah talk about that and share some new experiences and also see how Brooke uh, grew up. Nature is everything for me and I never experienced this kind of a blank mind before when I thought of picking up a pen or a camera. So Brooke and I decided together that this would be exactly what we'll talk about in my video and see what it comes from and how I can get myself out of this situation. I basically created this monster actually that had it all, you know. The car, the infrastructure, the illustrations, the geography content, the content, the YouTube channel. And now I feel like I'm on this trip and I have this pressure to record stuff that, yeah, I still don't feel it. It's so exhausting to just get doing it. In the same way when you, when you put that off for so long that it's really hard to get back into it. It's like... For me, it's like staring after not painting for, and then just, it's like you're staring at a blank canvas and you're like, Ugh! like it's like this kind of barrier to starting again. And yeah, and then just like trying to find ways that it's gonna be easier for you to just like cross that starting line. So, oh, you could make a YouTube video, but oh, you could also make like something for social media, but you could also illustrate something, but you could also do like work on the commission stuff. Yeah. But actually you should maybe also do your website. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going through a very similar thing because it's also, I want to update my website. I want to put out more YouTube content, but I also want to like work on this type of painting and that type of painting. And there's like so many things that it's hard to, prioritized like looking at the options i just don't do anything the block yeah. that we were kind of discussing before where like 
it's like for me this is like creative block but also kind of like a block block i never really put this in words that this is my project to really do this overlanding trip and really sketch and record everything at the same time and because i was scared that i was not able to do it. When it comes to like creativity and doing those types of things like there's this I think struggle with like oh if I don't feel like it I shouldn't force it but then it's like at the same time you sit around and wait for you know this bolt of lightning like to strike you with like this creative power to, and you could be potentially sitting there for like years you know so right now what will bring you the most fulfillment at this point in your journey? Like for you is that I just want to screw everything and just live in the present and like not worry about filming. Is it something like I, I would like to solely focus on photography. I would like to solely focus on um, make, getting back into making videos. Like what do you think would be the one thing that maybe could be just the first step. The most sensible thing probably to do would to be focus on filming because illustrations can take place afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like um, if I have the reference photos and stuff, that's what we talked about in your video. I mean, I still can do sketches like on paper, but the filming doesn't come back. Yeah. But that's the rational part. Maybe at this point, there's something that you can maybe not spend two weeks on, but maybe even just spend one or two days on that can kind of help you transition into the more productive kind of stuff, you know, whether that's like, like now, for example, we just spent like the last two days kind of um, being out in nature while exercising our creative brains a little bit. Be like to be like, okay, like, you know, like, did you kind of feel like excited? <laughs> no, I hated it. <laughs> Every single second. Like now I can basically <laughs> see it. I can't wait to leave this province. <laughs> like, didn't I just tell you that I feel forced to do all this? <laughs> she doesn't listen. <laughs> alone, but at least you know that there are people me, for example, who, not, not in the exact same boat, but share the s similar struggles. What a privilege to spend time with a person who understands you just in the beginning of the trip. And what a privilege that I have so much time to explore how I want to tell my stories. After spending the rest of the week with Brooke and her lovely family, I hit the road again with a couple of new thoughts on my mind. I will not stress about weekly videos. I'll leave the illustrations for another part of the trip. I'll focus on how I film and focus on doing all the little mistakes. And I want to share exactly this with you. A realistic way of growth that is not determined by any algorithm, by views or by following. So one day there might be content about geography, another day there might be a sketch, another day there might be a video with travel content or an adventure, and some days there might be nothing, because I meet nice people and I leave the camera deep down in my bag. After all, I'm a person and sometimes I'm a bit confused. Putting myself into a cage of productivity and efficiency in the last years killed my creative outlet, which I'll slowly try to reanimate again on my way to the Arctic Ocean. <laughs>